Today on Raw, we're going to discuss a topic that's being discussed almost a lot nowadays. You're probably hearing about it everywhere that you look, on TV, you know, your friends and your family. You're probably hearing this conversation discussed a lot, maybe at school or at work. Today's conversation, we're going to talk, we're going to start talking a little bit about why are you a vegan? Why are you a vegan? Why are you plant-based? Why have you decided to make a lifestyle choice that requires taking meat out of your life? Okay. Now, I'm going to begin with a couple of things here. Myself, this is my third year on the journey of plant, plant-based lifestyle. Okay. Now, I undertook this plant-based lifestyle after years of research and study and learning quite a bit about it and just coming to the realization that I needed to personally heal my body, that my body needed a lot of healing. Over the past several years, I've gone through quite an extensive journey of of healing my body and trying to get back to where my body could be healthier and heal from a lot of the damage that was imposed on me by me. (laughs) So, you know, Becoming um, plant-based was was a decision that I made specifically just for me. It wasn't to be an example. Um, Most things I do are particularly because I need to do them. And they typically become an example for others because I'm I'm usually the first one doing them, it seems like. But I undertook this as 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 a, a way of healing my own body personally. Now, here's some here's some little little insight on, you know, you know, veganism or, or plant-based lifestyle living or, or, you know, in the United States. Right now, the, the stats are there's 6% of the country, 6% of the people in the United States right now um, say that they're vegan. And so the vegan lifestyle has definitely started to grow more and more and more. And especially in the black community, with me being black, there's a large percent of of us in the black community that have opted to go toward vegan or plant-based lifestyles over the past several years, more and more and more. It's actually been for decades, but more and more increasingly so that we can heal our bodies from the the foods that we have um, historically um, been subjected to, you know, as far, you know, economically and so forth. But we'll talk about those things on later podcasts as well. But today we're just going to focus on, on, you know, why are you a vegan, you know? And so why are you plant-based? You know, why, you know, why become, you know, something that's so against the norm? Now myself, you know, I began a journey of looking at what is healthy for my body. And I've, I started actually years, years ago, I gave up eating pork about almost 20 years ago. And because, and that was, that was, Initially, initially it was a, it was a religious reason why I did it, you know. And you know, but as I started learning more and more and more and more, I'm, I'm you know I started to understand. Oh, this is really a good thing that me as a black man that hits high all the high risk categories for health issues, you know, this is actually something that I needed to do for my for my for my personal self for my body. And so this has been a growth process. I didn't you know this wasn't taught to us in school. This wasn't taught to us, you know. I'm, I'll be 49 in a couple of months. And this wasn't taught to us on television. This wasn't taught to us, you know, that that there was a, you know, there was a a difference in, you know, social economic, you know, reasons why I was subjected to the kinds of food that I was eating and why it was affecting me so, you know, so poorly, disproportionately, as opposed to the rest of the population. There was no discussion about that. You know, I didn't, this discussion didn't even start to come, come around until, you know, so I'm in my, you know, thirties, until my late thirties. So it's, it's very interesting, you know, you know, I lost a lot of friends, you know, for various reasons. Earlier in life, it was because of violence. And then later in life, it's because of health issues. And even to this day, a lot of my peers right now are dying, you know, before 50 or by 50. And that's just not tolerable. But anyway, one that's, that's those are some of the main reasons why, as a black culture, a lot of us are starting to go to a plant based diet. And, you know, really starting to learn, oh, you know, there's something here that I can fix that doesn't require anybody else to make a decision for me to fix. So that's those are a lot of the reasons why myself and, you know, others that I speak to have gone, you know, vegan or plant based. Now, 
we'll talk about in later podcasts, you know, the difference between, you know, veganism and, and plant-based, you know, living. But for this particular podcast, we're just going to, you know, focus on the why are you vegan? Why are you plant-based? And if you're not, you know, have you considered it? Now, I get a lot of pushback. Here's the thing. Since I began my business over six and a half years ago, I started to get a lot of pushback from those closest to me, from those I would come in contact with. I learned when it comes to the topic of eating, <laughs> of all the divisive issues that we have in the world and in our culture, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to be honest with you from my experience over the past several years, this is the number one most divisive issue I have ever, ever dealt with with anyone. And, and it started to make me you know, really understand, oh, what we eat goes down deep is visceral it goes down to our soul to our spirit as a people as a culture you know our cultural norms are deeply rooted in the foods that we eat oh i did not know that it was never talked about it was never you know i did not realize until i started focusing on a healthier lifestyle choice um when it comes to food and it didn't start off initially plant-based or 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 even you know vegan at all it just was healthy. And when you put that word healthy in there, oh my goodness, you know, people really get offended by the word healthy in a real way. Even if we're talking about healthier meat, just the word healthy in and of itself. And this is before we talk about vegan or plant-based or vegetarian. Before any of that, just talking about eating healthier is highly offensive to people. It's very visceral. It's very, you know, primal. That's the thing. It's very primal. And all of us, what we eat is probably the most primal instinct within in us. And so when we start to tap into, okay, I'm going to change, I'm going to get rid of meat. Well, we have a culture of carnivores. <laughs> so, you know, in a culture of carnivores, not even, you know, not even, you know, omnivores, but carnivores, you know what I'm saying? Barely eat any vegetables at all, any veg vegetarian, you know, almost none. You know, so when you talk about taking away, you know, meat, well, how are you going to survive? How are you going to eat? Here's the reality. Let's be honest. Now, as I'm, you know, I've spent a lot of, you know, spent years and years in the food industry, years and years in the food industry, and I've learned quite a bit. And my studies, when it comes to even history, when I talk to my elders and when I study, you know, what was, especially here in the United States, here's the thing, the Ability to eat and have access to so much meat is not it's not been a, it's not always been like this. You know, there was a time, you know, 60 years ago when getting, you know, to eat meat, getting to eat steak, getting to eat a hamburger was a privilege, was a privilege. You know, in our country, you know, it wasn't, you know, you know, you didn't just get to eat a steak every day. You know, you didn't just get to eat a steak, you know, and eggs every day. You know, it was it was, you know, it was a rare occasion at times. And so we've made it to where, you know, now it's part of our everyday lifestyle. Case in point, doubling back to why are you a vegan? Why are you plant based? OK, I say, well, you know, just ask yourself the question. You know, here's the thing. Like I said, I give you tons of reasons for me why I'm plant based. I've talked to other people. They tell me why they're plant based. Here's the thing. I've not heard one single solitary similar reason why but there's overreaching one definitely um connective tissue when it comes to why is for a healthier lifestyle you know we're trying to live longer we're trying to live better and then not to even mention entering in you know the pandemic and you know just all the different various you know things that have occurred over the past few years so back to why are you vegan why are you plant-based now I want you to ask yourself that question. That's why I keep repeating it. I want you to ask yourself that question if you are. If you're not, you know, ask that question. I want you to ask yourself a question. You know, why are you not? Have you considered it? What What are your objections? I really, now this is one thing that I definitely want to hear. I want to hear the varied objections that you have to veganism or plant-based living. Because here's the reality. There's a lot of data and there's actually more coming out on a regular basis of the benefits of living a plant-based life. Now, to give you some of the benefits that I've gotten myself now, I'm a big guy. I'm a big guy. You know, I'm a black man. You know, I'm 200, 
uh, you know, before I, when I became when I became plant based, I was about 280 pounds. I'm still about 275 pounds. Oh well, James, you haven't lost a lot of weight. Oh, here's what James has gained. I've had a lot of nerve damage, you know, that that for years and years and years. The nerve damage, my body is actually healing. I feel healthier today than I did three years ago. But here's the thing that I noticed immediately, though. In the first couple of months, um, once I once I you know went full plant based, full on plant based, you know, full on plant based, right? I learned. And see, even up to that point, I'd given up sugar. I'd given up a whole lot of things, right? You know, blood sugar is great. You know, numbers are great. Blood pressure is always great. You know, my numbers are lovely, right? But I gave up, you know, I gave up all meat. The first thing that I started to notice was my mind, the clarity, my mental clarity. I have received something that I'd never even contemplated. And I've heard this a couple of other times, not a whole lot, but my mental clarity had increased substantially. I mean, I'm I'm reading, I'm digesting, you know, more information. I'm taking information in. I'm thinking clearer than I've ever thought in my life. I mean, it's it's just, you know, it's it's just lovely. And on top of that, you know, fast forward, I was told by by um a fellow um earlier this year, he's a you know scientist, you know. Um he, you know, 60 I think he's like 66 years old. You know, he'd been into a, you know, into, you know, healthy lifestyle choices for a long time, a lot longer than me, right? And he told me, he looked me in my face, he said, he looked in my eyes, I can see your eyes are so clear. You know, I can tell, I can tell that you're healthy. You know, I can tell that you're healthy by your eyes. Now, he's saying that actually meant a lot to me because one of the things that I realized years ago, you know, my eyes look horrible years ago. My eyes looked horrible. They were, you know, they, they did not look good. And you know, my son, you know, he just turned 26 when he was born and I looked in his eyes as a baby and I looked in his eyes and I looked in my eyes at the same time in the mirror and I'm holding him. Right. And I said, I know never want your eyes to look like mine. You know, and this was, you know, 26 years ago. Right. You know, my eyes looked horrible, you know, stress, tension, smoking, drinking. You know, I, you know, I looked like I looked like I felt right inside, even though I didn't you know, really realize what was happening 26 years ago. My eyes looked horrible, right? So fast forward, you know, 25 years later, when this man makes this, he makes this assessment of me after just meeting me, right? And we're conversating and everything. And and I realized, I'm like, you know, you're right. I had to even run back to look in the mirror. My eyes look lovely. I mean, they, you know, which is saying a lot, you know, but comparatively, my eyes are so clear. I know that my body is healed and my body is healing. I can honestly stand here today and say that I am extremely healthier than I was three years ago. I am, you know, so when I exercise now, sure, there's still some things and see as I'm diagnosing, you know, what's going on with my body. OK, well, you know, my goal is really not to lose a whole bunch of weight. Sure. I want to get down to 230 pounds. I'm going to tell you guys right now, 230 pounds was my sweet spot. You know, in my early 30s, 230 pounds was awesome. That was a great weight for me. Now, for my particular height, you know, they want me to be lighter. For me, 230 pounds, great. But I had to learn why I am, you know, I'm healthier, I'm eating better, but why am I not able to lose weight the way that I want to lose weight? Okay, well, there's other things that are occurring in my body that still have to heal. The nerve damage, you know, the the the, the my, my my gut, you know, uh, my gut has been, you know, a major issue for the past few years. Getting it, you know, healed internally, you know, the, the nerve center, my 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 um autonomic nervous center is is healing you know because it was extremely damaged and so i'm learning oh okay i don't even sweat that much you know oh why don't i sweat okay this is why it's hard for me to lose weight but as i'm healing i'm able to you know diagnose these things a lot more and so i can honestly stand here today and say that i am extremely healthier than i was three years ago four years ago five years ago you know, my, my, my energy level is increased. My mental clarity is off the scale, off the scales. And I attribute that directly to a plant-based lifestyle. That's me. That's me. Give me your stories. Why did you go plant-based? Why did you go vegan? You know, I want to hear your stories. Let's start a dialogue. You know, this is what you call a conversation that we have to start having now for many reasons, for many reasons, even to this day. Most days, I'm going to be honest with you, and I'm going to do another podcast on seasonings because I love seasonings. Here's the thing. People say, you know, it doesn't taste like nothing. Here's the thing. 
that's because you don't know how to cook if, if your food doesn't taste like anything. I'm just going to throw that out there. But, you know, I eat, you know, beans, rice, you know, beans, rice, potatoes, you know, you know, yams, you know, just give me just give me some, you know, some whole vegetables and some rice or some, I'm good to go because I know how to use seasonings. You know, I'm not missing anything. I'm not missing anything when it comes to, you know, being able to enjoy food. But anyway, God bless you all. Let's have a conversation. You know, leave some comments, tap in. Let's really start a dialogue on why are you vegan? Why are you plant based? And really start to, you know, educate people around us, you know, about the what for's and why's and, you know, let them make their own decisions. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to tell anybody. You can ask my wife, you can ask anybody. I'm not telling nobody that you got to eat like I eat. Nobody. But, you know, thanks for, well, you know, to say, well, you know, why, 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 why should I? Well, why don't I? You know, well, but, you know, what do I think about being a vegan? What do I think about, you know, being plant-based? Let's have a conversation. Talk to you guys later. God bless.